To show you how to use what's called a lockdown browser um, in order to restrict a canvas quiz so that students can't leave the quiz or do anything else no cheating no anything until they are finished with that quiz so if you've ever taken a standardized test where the app locks all the students out of all of their other apps or other websites um, it's a similar kind of thing and it's actually super easy to do. The first thing I have to do is make a quiz. So if I have a quiz already that I've made, again, separate video on quizzes, I'll link that below if you need it, but quizzes, um, pretty simple to make. Once you have a quiz, now I'm ready to make it a uh, lockdown quiz. So in order to do that, all I have to do is go over here on the left-hand sidebar. I'm gonna scroll all the way down to lockdown browser. Now, when I click on that, it's going to ask me to choose which one of my quizzes I want. So I have a quiz here called my state's quiz. Uh, and if I clicked on the little arrow next to it, I can go to settings. And there's an option that says don't require lockdown browser for this exam or require lockdown browser for this exam. Um, I want to require it. So I turn that on. And then there's a few other settings that I'd highly recommend that you look at before um, you just save and close and get moving. Um, if I go to advanced settings here, there's an option you have to check that says lock students into the browser until their exam, exam is completed. So if you want it to be officially locked where they can't get out, then this is where the other option you need to check. And if you want, there's an explanation here that you can read about that and what it does. Um, if you want, you can even give an optional password that only you would use to get a kid out of an exam early. Like for example, if a kid had to go home or got ill in the middle of a test, um, this would be allowed to do that. There's also an option in here that you must check that says allow students to take this exam with an iPad using the Lockdown Browser app. Since we are in an iPad district or an iPad building in my school, we need to make sure that we have this checked so this is uh, available for students. So open up my quiz, check the box that says uh, use re or require a Lockdown Browser, and then check these top two options. The rest of it is optional. So you can choose whether you wanted to allow an external web domain. That means if your quiz contained a link that they had to click on to maybe go watch a video or check out a website, um, you can choose to allow that or not. You can choose to allow a calculator button on the toolbar. Uh, again, once this is locked down, they are locked out. They can't do any other apps. They can't leave. Even if they restart, it takes them back into it. Um, it is locked out. So you can choose to enable printing if you want them to be able to print their quiz when they're finished. That stuff is all up to you. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna tell it to save and close. So now the difference here is that the quiz name now says states quiz dash requires respondus lockdown browser. Now on the student side, for this to work, they have to have the respondus lockdown app installed. Um, if you search, it looks like this. If you search for the word lockdown, it's got a big padlock on it. Um, if they don't have that, they can get it from the manager app and they will not be able to take the quiz unless they have that uh, installed because we have this set to require this app in order for that quiz to take. There is no way to take it without having that unless I go back into the settings of that quiz and turn that requirement off. Now in Pattonville, we have pushed that app to all secondary students anyway. So every student should have it on their device, but if they're missing it, they can go to the manager app to get it. Now, to take the quiz, all a student has to do is they have to use Safari. They cannot use the Canvas app, but they have to go to Safari and simply go to google.com. From google.com, they're gonna click on their little avatar in the upper right-hand corner and simply make sure that they are signed in to their school uh, Google account. And then they're gonna go ahead and tap the waffle and scroll all the way down to Canvas. Now from here, they're simply gonna go into their course. So they're gonna find the course that has the quiz. They're gonna tap on assignments. And then they're gonna scroll down to find the quiz that required the lockdown browser. So here's a state's quiz requires respondus lockdown browser. When they tap on that, it's gonna give a message that simply says, hey, 
click to launch this assessment. Um, they have to click on that, and this will leave Safari and launch the Respondus app, which will, again, lock down their device. So when I tap click to launch assessment, it says it's going to open and lock down. I tell it to open, and they are going to get asked, do you want to confirm that this is going to lock your device, yes or no? They have to hit yes. If they hit no, it cancels everything out, and they'll have to go through the whole process again. All they have to do is hit yes. That's the only way they'll even be able to take the quiz is by admitting to yes. And once they hit yes, the iPad is now locked down um, and it will not let them out until they have completed this quiz or eight hours later, depending on how that works. So here it is. Um, I can tell it to go ahead and begin the quiz. And again, you'll notice um, I could go ahead, I can hit the home button. Uh, nothing happens. It doesn't let me out of it. I am locked in that browser, and all I can do is go by question by question by question until I have submitted my quiz. So I would simply go through and choose my answers. This is a hotspot question. And then I hit submit, and it tells me my submission was successful. If I chose to give the students the uh, scores after they've taken a quiz, it would give them their score at this point. And then they can go ahead and hit exit. And now since they have quit the or finished the quiz, now it lets them get back out of that lockdown browser and go back into whatever they were doing.